go. And there is the signal to get underway in the Prince of Wales Challenge Cup semi-final and uh, a composite versus a full university crew here. Yeah, you see Bath University progress really well for the Regatta so far. And while they were sitting at the start, you could just see the wind has swung and you could just, you know, it had been quite sheltered in that first section of the race where this particular race as they went off, you could just see the popples on the water there. That they, you know, they're, they're giving the full headwind rather than that kind of dead phase of, you know, flat water before they hit the headwind. So, you know, I wonder if that's going to play out as they kind of move into the booms here. Yes, and uh, the bigger boats uh, a little bit more stable uh, to cope with the headwind, to press on, they're a little bit quicker. Uh, they get down the course a little bit faster, but some really big talent and some up and coming athletes in this composite crew from Twickenham Rowing Club and Queen's University Belfast. Callum Dixon in the stroke seat, we'll see him right there. And uh, he will be teaming up, in fact, with Nathan Hull in the bow seat. He's the representative from Queen's University Belfast. You can see the different colour strip at the under-23 European Championships that will take place a little bit later in Kuszwika in Poland. Um, they'll be doing a double. So, they, again, lots of talent that is coming through the system, racing in these events, and we'll see those two on the international stage later on in the year. And I think that's the great thing about this particular race. You've got both the talent that's come, we're coming through the system with these different programs that are going on. Then they're all young, basically. And there's lots of progression going on with, with what's going to happen over the next few years. And it, it's great to see them going head to head in this semi final today. There's Bath University. You can see Joe Stobbs in the stroke seat for them, setting the pace. And uh, they've got a lot of time on the way forward, actually. They've, they've had a lot of confidence when you're the uh, trailing crew to get down onto pace it can be again very tempting to keep the rating up try and chase it and not stick to your race plan they look like they've settled really well and i think it's having confidence in your, your kind of mid race or the bulk of the race pace it's really important that you understand if you are kind of scampering you're kind of too high you need to come down onto pace and it, it takes a lot of confidence to do that Oh, the blades there, and uh, you can see the different colours of Twickenham Rowing Club, which is the pink and navy blue, with the Queen's Twickenham. University Belfast colours, that white, blue and green. And uh, you can just see they're adjusting their steering somewhat, moving back out towards their station on the buck side. And uh, steering this crew, it is... Nathan Hull in the bow seat, the uh, final year student at Queen's, who sadly missed out on going to the under-23 World Championships this year because of a, a COVID outbreak. So um, missed their, their flight, um, weren't able to, to race. And so great to see that um, it looks promising for a final here at Henley. Yeah, and that must have been really hard to deal with. You know, you're kind of working towards something. And, you know, once we came out of all the lockdowns, you know, these events are going to take place. You're, you're, you're training, preparing for them. And then unfortunately, you're in the vicinity of someone that was positive and then you can't go. So that must have been really difficult to deal with. But, you know, they've got their opportunity being at Henley, you know, that kind of anger that would have built, built up by not being able to race and actually utilizing that this weekend. So they've opened up a few lengths lead over Bath University and, well, Bath just pleased to be in the weekend, to be honest. It's been a little while since they've had a full Bath University crew um, uh, in this type of event make it to the weekend and uh, a few people with their first ever Henleys in that Bath crew. We're now looking back at the composite and, uh, well, a, a very strong crew. I mean, they're, they are levering well into the headwind. And I think, again, being a bigger crew into the headwind can sometimes help. Yeah, because you know, the symmetry between that, it's not brilliant, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to comment on this because it's a technical thing I'm really conscious of. Um, there's a bit of looming going on with it in the two seat, and it's just you know, being relaxed with that, just placing the blade, not whacking it in and lifting the hands high. They're an extremely tough uh, physical crew because they're getting away with that. But that's just something they could think about coming into that final tomorrow, being cleaner more in sync and just getting more whole speed out of doing less work. Yeah, and uh, like you say, muscling it along as it stands at the moment, that can become quite tiresome. 
and effectiveness, efficiency. It's a long way, 2,112 meters, uh, longer than your usual race, and it can catch up with you. So uh, they are going to need to think about being efficient. They've got the added element of the wind, which will make this longer than it usually is, and the stream. Um, they are coming down onto to rating though, and you're spotting it again here. They're, they're just burying their blades a little bit deeply. You can see the wash coming off there, Mark. Yeah, you can see the white water running up the loom, which is the bit that attaches from obviously where their hand actually goes onto the handle and moves down to the spoon. And you can just see the white water raise, kind of moving up the shaft. And that's what you don't really want that happening because that's just slowing the boat down. And I just, I think they could get even more speed. That's what I'm trying to give them is more, more free speed by just thinking about these things. And you're not going to put it right overnight, but it's just as they progress in their own career, it's just something to kind of think about when they kind of look back at this, you know, what can I improve on and get better on? Well, they're, if they're already leading by this much, Mark, and you think they can get faster, I'm, I'm both scared and excited for Twickenham and Queen's University Belfast. Um, and they are actually all due up, most of them GB star athletes at Twickenham. So they've only just started their journey, we, and we hope a long journey, on their rowing career path. And exactly, you want to kind of keep progressing, keep evolving, keep developing. And it's how do I get better all the time? So, yeah, and that's what's great about these images. They get to watch themselves race, you know, how they're responding to being in that pressure of race situation and how do I kind of improve and get better all the time? So, yeah, really comfortable race here in total command. But there's always things to work on and get better at. But, yeah, great performance so far. Yeah, great performance. And we just saw the drone shot there. You could definitely tell the difference between the Bath crew and even here from behind. We're looking at the bows of both of these boats. Um, Bath, uh, that little bit more synchronised, but they're just up at the higher rating, just out-muscled, out-powered by a much stronger crew that will come into the enclosures, rating 24 strokes a minute. Um, they've come right off the boil and we'll find out, I think, who they will be racing um, uh, unless we've already had the race on the other side of the draw yet. Into the enclosures come this. We have indeed, they'll be facing Leander Club in uh, tomorrow's final. This is the Twickenham Queen's University Belfast composite and several lengths ahead of Bath University. Right, hit, right, hit, right. 